we're going to talk about a couple of different ways of reinforcing sock, toes, and heels when you're knitting. Uh, this has <laughs> become really important to me. My whole family lives in Alaska. I live in Texas. And uh, I'm the only one who doesn't live there. Needless to say, they all want wool socks and they wear through them faster than I can knit them. And I haven't always been very good about reinforcing the toes and heels to keep them from, getting, um, from wearing out after a short period of time. I always have a pair of socks on the needles because I'm always trying to keep my family in Alaska in their beloved wool socks. So I'm going to start using a couple of these tricks now with every pair so hopefully I won't have to um, send as many pairs up there as I do. Um, this works on, these can work on uh, whether you're in the process of knitting the socks or I'm going to show you a way of doing it after the fact. Okay, let's take a look. Here's my current sock project and look at my sock bag, isn't that cute? It says cheaper than therapy. I'll send you, a, I'll give you a link to um, the company that makes those bags. And here we are with my current sock project and if you're wondering about these beautiful needles these are signature art needles and I'll give you a link to their website they are gorgeous and they're really nice to work with this is a toe up sock I've finished the toe and I've worked the foot and I'm ready to get started on the heel and this is where the magic comes in I have this bobbin of um, sock reinforcing thread this is actually made by a company called Yavol or um, in English, it looks like Jawol, J-A-W-O-L-L. -L. And this is a wool and nylon thread used for reinforcing socks. So you can buy this online in different places, or you can just use any synthetic thread, or a, a thread that's mostly synthetic, and that will work. As long as it's thin enough, it won't disturb the wearing of the sock or make it feel any different. So this is so simple, we should all be doing this in all of our socks because it's such a great idea. I'm going to get myself ready to work my first heel stitch here, and I'm just going to hold the reinforcement yarn with my regular sock yarn. Not for the whole sock, just for any part of the sock that would be the heel or the, um, the toe. Okay. There we go. And I'm using a contrasting color here because I, um, I did go shopping for a reinforcement thread to match this sock yarn. But it can actually end up looking pretty cool when you have a little thread of, re of a different color running through just the heels and the toes. So that is the proactive way of reinforcing sock toes and heels. You can see you can barely even see that reinforcement thread in there. I will do this um, through the whole short row heel. I didn't do it in the toe. I'm going to have to figure out something else. Um, it also works, this is a, a much chunkier sock, it also works to do it in the heel flap and the short row heel of um, a cuff down sock. And then as soon as you're, really this is the guideline, as soon as your pattern says heel or toe. Just knit that whole section carrying the extra thread of, of yarn to reinforce because those are the places that can really um, wear out first. Now here is a chunky toe up sock. I want to show you a way that I just learned. I love this. I learned this on knitty.com and it's a way to reinforce a sock after you've knit it. If you're like me and you realize, oh no, I didn't and these socks are going to wear out. You, um, you can use the same yarn that you use to knit the sock and you'll need a tapestry needle. I'm going to use a contrasting color so you can see what I'm doing. Turn the sock inside out and this works for the toe or the heel. The socks inside out and this is a stockinette sock so this is reverse stockinette and all I'm going to do is to pick up pearl bumps through the heel. So I went up and now in the next row I'm going to pick up every other pearl bump on the way back down. Watching your tension there, switching from one to the next. If you pick up every other pearl bump, this won't show through in the front of the work. And it makes for a double thick fabric that's going to hold together a lot better.
Oops, I think I skipped a row. I sure did. This is actually kind of fun to do. It's actually kind of fun to use a <laughs> contrasting color of yarn. Someone turns the sock inside out, they'll be in for a surprise. So that's how that goes. I heard somewhere that there are as many stitches in a pair of women's socks as there are in a women's sweater. And that's because we're using super tiny needles and thin yarn for the socks. With that much work, we should all be doing one <laughs> or both of these techniques to get some more wear out of the socks. Good luck. Thank you.